Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve NCERT Maths Class 6 Chapter 10 Menstruation Exercise 10.3 Question Number 10. So friends, without wasting any time, let's begin. This is by splitting the following figures into recta rectangles, find their areas. The measures are given in centimeters. Now, this is one figure given to us. We have to split this figure into rectangles to find the area of this. So if you see here, so you can see this is the figure given. Now we don't have any particular formula or uh, formula to find the area of irregular figures, right? For that we use a method that is by splitting the figure into pieces. Here we can split it into rectangles, right? Because it has said us to do in that. So if you see, you have to draw lines to split this into rectangles. So apply some of your brain and if you move from here, you can see from here all the way to here, this will make your one rectangle, this one, okay, this one first. Then if you go from here or basically from here all the way to the top, this will make the second rectangle, okay. This, then if you go from here to here, this will make your third rectangle, right. And this will be your last rectangle, that will be the fourth. Now, we have made four rectangles here. One by one, we will find their area, then add their area, and then we will get the total area, which will be the area of the irregular figure given to us. Now, here if you see, first rectangle, you can write here, area, area of rectangle rectangle 1 okay and if you see over here what can you see is this is the length right this or opposite to this this is the length this is is already given 4 centimeter and for the breadth you can see already given here this one and what is it 2 centimeters right so you get the area as 4 into 2 because it is a rectangle multiply the length by the breadth so 4 into 2 and that is 8 square centimeters, okay. Then, next is this one. Now, we have the area of rectangle, the second rectangle, right? Now, here if you see, what are, what are the dimensions? Basically, the length and the breadth. So, this much from here, from here all the way to the down, this much will be your length. And this much of part here will be the breadth. So length, if you see here, you can see 3 centimeter already over here, right? And or maybe if you look, you can see 3 centimeter here, but over to this, we don't have anything. So we don't find it. But if you see this, this is 4 centimeter, right? And above this is this much. And that is 2 centimeter. So 4 plus 2 will be equal to the measure of this side. 4 plus 2 is 6, right? So you get 1 that is 6. Now multiply that by the breadth. What will be your breadth? So this will be the breadth here, right? This or this can also be your breadth, right? Now if you see here, so what can you see here is this can be the breadth or this can be the breadth. And if you see this is 3, right? This is 3, this whole is 3. And if you subtract 2 from this, you will get this much of portion which is left over. So 3 minus 2, 1, right? So you will multiply 6 by 1. 1 is the length of this breadth, right? You can mention it over here, 1. So 1 centimeter, that is 6 square centimeters, right? Now, we move on to the third rectangle. So in the third rectangle, what can you see? You can see that this much part will be the breadth, right? This much here, it will be the breadth. And this, uh, sorry, uh, you're right. And this one will be the length, if you see. So uh, if you find over here, this much of part, this is two, okay, this is two, and this is four, and this is also two. So if you have to see for the uh, length or the breadth, any one out of these, so this is three, okay, this is, 3, this much of part here, this is totally 3 and over to that you can see here also, you can see this much is 1 centimeter, right? This we have done in the previous one only. So if you subtract this much of portion from here, you will get this much of length which will be the breadth. 3 minus 
one that is two. So you get the breadth or the length, whatever it is, as two, and you multiply this two by the length. How to find the length? Now, uh, this much part you see here, this much we have already seen that if if this from here to here is six and this is three, so other one will be also three, right? So two into three, and that is going to be six square centimeters. Okay, now last rectangle here. Okay, we have the last rectangle here, fourth one. In this, if you see, so uh, none of the dimensions are given to us. We have to find it. So first, if you look the breadth, this is from here to here. This is four, right? From here over to here is four, right? And if you see for the length, this is one centimeter, and this we have already found. What was this? This was three. Right, so three plus one, four. So one we have found that is four. Now this four is the length. Now we move on to find the breadth of the figure. Right. Now if you see, so uh, you can see that this much of part here, this was two. Right. This from here to here was two. So this remaining one will be two subtracted from four and. That will be four minus two two, so four into two you will do that is eight square centimeters. Now add this, you will get the answer. So for total area, we have to add all of these. So you will add eight plus eight plus six plus six. So eight plus eight sixteen plus six twenty two and plus six is twenty eight. So you get total answer as twenty eight square centimeters, right? So total area of this whole figure is twenty eight square centimeters. Okay, let us move on to the next figure. Now the next part here you see is this one. Now quickly get your pen and if you see this figure again here, what can you see? You can make how many rectangles out of this? Three rectangles. How? See from here to here one rectangle. From here to here, two. But where is the third one? So third one is also here. See, this is your first one. This is your second one. Okay, and this is the third one. So we have made three rectangles out of this. Now find their area. So if you see, this rectangle and this rectangle are same. They are looking identical, and they are having identical dimensions. If you will see, so they are same. So we can find out the area. For one and multiply that by two, that will give us area of both of these squares. That will be C. So you can mention here area of first a rectangle. Okay, rectangle one, rectangle one, and that is three into one. Right, the length is three. This and breadth is one. This. Three into one, and that is three square centimeters. Right. This is the area of our first rectangle. Then next is the second one. So area of rectangle and the second one now. Now here, if you see the length is already given here. You can see this to this is three, and the breadth. If you have to find, you can see this is two, and this is total is three. So if you subtract this. Two from three, you will get this much part. That will be the breadth. Three minus two is one. So you will do three into one here also. That is what? Yes, it is three square centimeters. Right. Now we move on to the last rectangle. So area of rectangle and the third one now. Okay. Here, if you see once again the, the dimensions, this is what. Three. Why? Because if this is same and this opposite one is three, so this will also be three. And this already breadth is given one. Three into one that is what? Three square centimeters. So you get the total area as what? Three plus three plus three. Right. That is nine square centimeters. Right. Now you could have also you might say that. 
why didn't we just multiply 3 by 3 instead of doing this long process because we do not know that the area of all the three rectangles will be 3 it might be different but you have to find the area of all the three first then only you have to add them to get the total area right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video also leave a like on this video till then stay home stay safe wear a mask maintain social distancing and take good care of yourself bye bye